through some injury updates and some of the high, more high profiles, the ones you mentioned after the game? Yeah, Tommy O'Donnell uh, went for an X ray after the game, like I said. Uh, the medical team said that you know they uh, suspect that he's got a, a broken leg. He doesn't. Um, he's going for a few more scans today. Uh, still pretty serious if you look at how the ankle looks now. So we'll we'll wait. Uh, Riz Marshall went for a for a scan now. Dan Gogan is seeing a, a specialist tomorrow. Arne Boeta has gone for a scan on on his thumb, um, which uh, is a bit of a surprise. Um, he uh, later that evening it was uh, swollen up. Uh, David Callahan has gone to see a specialist in in London. Uh, he picked up an injury against Leinster A. So um, and then if you add all the guys that's that's currently not available, it's quite a significant list. On the positive side, it it looks like um, Ulzi will get running today and hopefully he'll get back into to team training tomorrow or or late in the week. What about the likes of, let's say, Chris Farrell, how far away, or Yako, that you mentioned as well, just because, obviously, Dan's lap. Yeah, um, no, Chris Farrell's still a bit off. Um, at this stage, Yaku uh, won't be available for, for the weekend. So, like I said, if you if you look at our injury list, it's it's quite significant. And uh, that's just a game at this stage. We um, had a big discussion on it. It's, you know, if it was one type of injury, you, you could look into it, but it's so many different things and it's so many big hits and mostly it's it's collisions. Um, so, yeah, we are a bit thin in certain positions. I know you're an NFL fan. One thing that rings true there is next man up. So you'd be preaching that to the guys, particularly from the A squads now, who've had a couple of games. Yeah, it's I've, their turn. I've said it from the, the first day last year, is you, you need a squad. And we said it at the beginning of the year. Last year, we used more than 50 guys. and. Uh, I think we, we're we using certain guys a bit earlier this year than, than we would have liked, but that's just the way it is. Uh, especially in the loose forward department, we are very thin at, at this stage. And you know, um, Obviously, the, the national team comes in, into the fray as well, and certain guys need to rest as well. So um, it's definitely the next man stand up and fight. Around hooker and centre, is there an option for you to go to the RFU or the powers that be and say, look, we might need a little bit of cover here? Well, I guess if... if um, no, if it turns out to be, we, we might have a look at it. Um, but as we've seen with with uh, the likes of, of Albi, uh, the work permit um, takes quite a bit of time and you've got to do your research. You, you, d you don't just fly a guy over in a week. Um, and then some of the times, uh, if that player becomes available, then like Gris Wanapur last year, then, then the season's over. So, um, look, uh, we've got all the support from the RFU. We're, in constant communication with them and like I said from day one David and, and Joe's been fantastic in, in that regard and I think uh, ourselves in the over three provinces are totally aligned to them. Last one for me, in terms of the weekend as a whole, your team won with a bonus point at home but afterwards they weren't happy. Is that the ideal thing you want from as a coach from a group that they want to be more ruthless and more clinical maybe? Yeah, 100%. You know, I said we... we um, We've got pretty big dreams for for this team, and you now we we want to improve week on week. And I think there's been a lot of growth since last season, and especially the last four weeks. I felt there's been a lot of progression, and you know, I think the frustration from uh, you know the whole group was yes, we scored some fantastic tries, and then we let in one or two penalties. Um, but on a Monday morning, you look back and um, you you look at uh, the five points, and you look where you sit in, in the group, and. You look at other results over the weekend, and I know we as coaches spoke this morning. The fine line between winning and losing, certain teams, you know, guys make mistakes in the last minute of the game, and you miss a kick, and all of a sudden you're, you're two games down. And other teams, you know, you've got a bit of luck, and sometimes you play well and you're on top of your pool. So it's, you know, we're very happy with our situation. We're going to run our own race, and it's back to Glasgow now, and you know, looking forward to the back to back camps against Gust in, in December.